So I wanted to get on here and tell you guys about some changes that are happening for this channel, which are because of some things that I'm going through personally in my life. And I'll just start right up front because I know some of you aren't going to watch through the entire video. So I'm just going to say it. The big change that is happening starting now is that, uh, sorry, this is really hard to do. Uh, starting now, I will not be making any more references to the interactive web comic known as Homestuck. You see, I think my negative Homestuck content may be responsible for the decline of the Homestuck fandom, and I just can't live with myself doing that anymore. I've implied that the humor in it seems like something that adults would find very annoying. Tell me more about this Homestuck. It's a long story that involves a piñata and a gun and a very naughty doggy. <laughs> <laughs> that is so random. The thing is, I haven't read Homestuck because I haven't reached the 300 paid Patreon subscriber threshold I said I needed to reach before I would read it. And it never occurred to me that this might be wrong to do until a couple of days ago uh, when, well, I was in the middle of making a sequel to my earlier video. I got a girlfriend at the Homestuck convention and it was going to be called Dumped by a Homestuck Cosplayer. So yeah, there I was at the Homestuck meetup I'd been anticipating for months because I would finally meet my online Homestuck girlfriend in real life. Except, she didn't show up and I was standing there all by myself in what a passerby referred to as a really stupid costume. <laughs> oh, I love putting this imaginary Homestuck fan in miserable situations. Yep, that's what he gets for wasting his time on a cringe fandom. Now time to go on Google Images and get some pictures of embarrassing Homestuck fans to use in this video so the viewers can laugh at how much pure joy they're experiencing. While I sit here making ironic references to something I've never read and just assume is annoying? Ugh, I'm acting like a typical hypocritical liberal who criticizes his country without doing anything to make it better. You know, I said I wouldn't read Homestuck until I got to 300 paid Patreon subscribers, but maybe it's actually so good that it's worth reading for free. I mean, I remember when I decided to watch a Super Mario Logan video before making fun of it, and okay. oh it turned out that, well, that was really annoying, but maybe Homestuck is actually a classic piece of internet literature, and I'm missing out on a masterpiece by not reading it. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna read Homestuck for real. Okay, here we go. A young man stands in his bedroom. What will his name be? Oh cool, this is amazing. An interactive webcomic. The author is truly using the power of the internet to bring literature into the 21st century. Let's see, I'll click here to name him. Oh, it just makes it say, Zoo Smell Poop Lord. <laughs> Wow! I can't believe I thought this was going to be full of humor for annoying teenagers. This is brilliant. That's it. I'm joining the Homestuck fandom. So I started searching for Homestuck meetups I could attend. Aha! Uh -huh. Here's one. Oh, April 13th. Dang, I missed it. Oh, what about this? Oh, August 23rd. Ah, that was just a few weeks ago. Oh, well, let's see. Aha! Uh -huh. Jackpot! This looks like the perfect Homestuck meetup for me to attend. If I was in Sacramento in 2017, ah, forget it. The Homestuck fandom is dead and I killed it. That's it. I'm going to bed. Hopefully I can at least dream about Homestuck. Homestuck, Poop Lord, Webcomic, Homestuck. Wake up! Ah, wh why did someone who looks just like me break into my house? Because I'm not you. I'm Andrew Hussey in disguise. See? <laughs> Who is Andrew Hussey? The creator of your favorite interactive webcomic. Interactive webcomic? Yeah, sounds like some stupid crap for bored teenagers. It's called Homestuck. I logged your IP address when you clicked on Homestuck and rushed over here to make sure you weren't becoming another toxic Homestuck fan. Homestuck. I love Homestuck and wanted to join the Homestuck fandom, but I couldn't find any meetups, so I'm giving up. Hmm, interesting. 
You know, when I was younger, I always wanted to read an interactive webcomic. But I just couldn't find any. So do you know what I did? Did you give up and just hope to find one in your dreams? No. I made my own. Don't sit around waiting for the world to make the thing you want to see. Go out there and make it yourself. Wow. Thank you so much. I will do that, Mr. Hussey. Just one question. Why are you disguised as me? I have to go out in disguise to avoid the toxic fans who hate me. Why do they hate you? For abandoning my interactive webcomic and condescending to its audience. And what was your interactive webcomic called? Homestuck? <laughs> Don't forget that or people might think you're a fake Homestuck fan. <laughs> okay, time to go back to my lair and see if anyone else is trying to read Homestuck. Wow. Andrew Hussey is right. You know, if I can't go to the Homestuck fandom, I'll make the Homestuck fandom come to me. Okay, let's see. How to organize a Homestuck meetup. Step one, choose a location that is public, such as McDonald's. Okay, create a list of rules. Rule one, all attendees must be true Homestuck fans and fake Homestuck fans will be ejected from the meetup. Show up early and scout out the location. If strangers approach to ask about your group, they're usually just curious. Find a simple way to explain your gathering to them and what it's all about. Okay, I gotta practice my explanation now. Uh, I'm dressed like this because we're having a Homestuck meetup. You see, Homestuck is an interactive webcomic and I'm here to meet up with other fans. What's that? No, I'm not trying to meet up with children. Homestuck is for adults. It has adult humor like Zeus Mel Poop Lord. It's not for kids. <laughs> Why would you think I'm trying to hang out with kids? <laughs> oh, great. Are those Homestuck cosplayers? Hmm. Look more like they're dressed as Sophis from Fire Emblem and a green guy called Jabavare. But maybe they're just Homestuck OCs. Huh. There's only one guy here. Forget it. No, no, wait, wait. Uh, don't you want to talk about Homestuck? Oh, they left. Well, I can't give up. After all, if Andrew Hussey had given up on Homestuck after writing Zoo Smell Poop Lord on page two, we would never have the next 8,000 pages of the interactive webcomic we know and love today. Let's see. Where else do they suggest having a meetup? McDonald's? Park? Ah, uh -huh. I'll go to Park. So I tried one spot after another, hoping that someone, anyone, would want to join a fellow Homestuck fan. But no one came. And then, just when I was about to go home, the Google alert I'd set up for local Homestuck meetups went off. And it turned out there was a meetup starting right down the street. I ran to the location, got to the door, and... Okay, here I am. 342 Miller Avenue, Conference Room B, Homestuck meetup. All right. Wait, back in an hour? Forget it. I've already been waiting all day. I guess this is a sign that the Homestuck fandom is truly dead. And I have no one to blame for killing it, but... Myself? Andrew Hussey? Yeah. But why are you at a Homestuck meetup? I thought you were scared of the fans because you abandoned them. Unfortunately, after spending years writing an 8,000 page interactive webcomic, I didn't have any friends anymore. Homestuck meetups are my only way of hanging out with anyone in real life. It's funny, earlier I went to McDonald's for a Homestuck meetup, but there was nobody there except a couple of people cosplaying as Sothis from Fire Emblem and a green guy named Jabavir. So I left and decided to come here and start a meetup of my own. Is anyone with you? No, just myself. You know, <laughs> I decided to join the Homestuck fandom because I thought I could be part of a welcoming community of creative souls. But I guess the fandom is truly dead. Whoa, 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 whoa. You want to be part of a welcoming community of creative Homestuck fans? Do yourself a favor when you get home. Do a search for Homestuck RP servers. RP servers? Roleplay servers. You pretend you're a Homestuck character and then, well, you get welcomed into a community of creative Homestuck fans. But I've never done a Homestuck roleplay. It's easy, just pick a character and start chatting. 
Like, I'll be Parcat. And I'll be... Zoo Smell Poop Lord. Okay, <laughs> not exactly a Homestuck character, but I guess it could be an original character. All right, let's get started. Uh, Hello, Poop Lord, it's me, Carcat. How's it going? Uh, not so good. You see, I am stuck at home. Uh, home stuck, if you will. Okay. And that's it? That's it? Well, if it's okay with you, I might leave this meetup and get started on those RP servers. As I said just now when I was role-playing as Carcat, okay? Okay. And so, I went home and to my surprise and delight discovered that there were 240 Discord servers devoted to Homestuck roleplay. Okay, let's see, there's two people in this one. Maybe they're waiting for me to start. Hello everyone, my name is Zeusmel Poop Lord, and I'm stuck at home. And here's a response, they said, and, okay, and what? And what other Homestuck activities are you doing? Okay, think, 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 think. Um, I'm doing Zoo Smell Poop Lord. You said that already. That's just a joke from page two. Do you know anything at all about Homestuck? You know what? This is supposed to be a welcoming community. I'll just be honest. No, I only read two pages. Fake Homestuck fan detected. Fake Homestuck fan detected. Fake Homestuck fan detected. Zothus from Fire Emblem and Jabavir? <laughs> That's so funny. I, I thought you were cosplayers when I saw you coming to my Homestuck meetup. Yeah, we weren't cosplaying. We actually look like this. And we're huge Homestuck fans, and we're here to punish you for attempting Homestuck roleplay without reading all 8,000 pages of Homestuck. Uh, well, before you punish me, guess what? I actually know Andrew Hussey. You mean the that doesn't respect his own fandom? That's it. We're gonna double punish you for associating with that. I didn't finish. I actually know Andrew Hussey's location. He's at 342 Miller Avenue, conference room B. And he said he was just about to make a blog post that's totally condescending to the fandom. What? Come on, Jeb of Air. Let's go beat up Andrew Hussey. <sighs> that was close, you know? I'm starting to think that trying to be a Homestuck fan without reading it is just as bad as insulting Homestuck without reading it. I'm gonna read Homestuck for real, even if I haven't reached my Patreon threshold. Okay, let's start again. Let's see. Zoo smell, poop lord. Still funny. Let's move on. Okay, your name is John. It is your birthday. Retrieve arms from chest. Your arms are in your chest. Name. Poop lord. What's that sound? Oh no, did I leave my door open? Uh. Hey, we went to that address and the only guy there looked just like you, not Andrew Hussey. Just more evidence that you're a fake Homestuck fan. Hey, what are you reading on that computer? Uh, Homestuck? Don't you recognize it? Uh, this is only page 10. Oh, well, to be honest, I only made it to the second time it said Poop Lord and got annoyed and stopped reading. So, you're a fake Homestuck fan? I guess so. Now that I think about it, we're the last people who should be gatekeeping Homestuck. Especially since this green guy named Jabavare can't even read. That's okay. I was only going to read it if I had 300 paid Patreon subscribers, so... It's not like I went into the fandom with noble intentions. Now, if you don't mind, I have another 7,990 pages of this webcomic to make it through. Yeah, I suppose I should go read some more at home, too. Just hope I don't get... Stuck? Great Homestuck reference. Hey, uh, let's have a meetup after we finish this thing. I'm sure we'll have tons of good references to make then. Okay, bye. Okay, let's see. Page 16, it says, John, squawk like an imbecile and on your desk. Uh, yeah. I think I'll wait until I get those 300 paid subscribers to finish this. Uh, okay, well... You know what to do? Go to patreon.com slash Tony's Era so I can find out what happens after this guy on his desk. And you can even hear me say the swear word for what he's going to do on his desk. Hurrah!